It's a little terrifying. All I want to do is slap you. I had no idea we spent that kind of money. Oh. The deceit! We have to stop playing games with each other. Right now, I've got $18 in the bank. We just have to grow up. Dennis. I'm working as a chef. My name is Sharon. I'm a switchboard operator for an accounting firm. I get my bill. I look at how much I owe. I throw it away. It's starting to get to the point where sometimes I'm starting to question where or why he doesn't have the money for the rent. I got addicted to collecting this toy and I just, every time I got my paycheck I would spend 40 or 50 bucks on this toy. He spends a lot of money on just little things. He doesn't buy a lot for the house, and that's where I feel a burden. When do you get paid next? I want to get paid next Thursday. So maybe if she holds on for another five days, it should be fine. I get sick to my stomach sometimes thinking about it. Um, I lose sleep. Neither of us are very good at managing our money. All couples fight, but it's a kind of hard when you're fighting about money and that always seems to be the only thing that you're fighting about. I have an island off the coast of Costa Rica and never have to deal with money again. I'd be content with that. I guess he just doesn't think about consequences. She wants more, 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 more. I wish I could say that I could turn to him for support when I need it. So that's why I think I kind of feel more the anger sometimes, more the disappointment. It is, I mean, money can be big, can be very big. Yeah, I'm looking forward to Gail coming in and helping us. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Sharon and Dennis are newlyweds who want to have a baby. At times, she feels like she already has a child. That would be Dennis. Sharon is the one worrying herself sick while Dennis has big ambitions, but only 18 bucks in the bank. They've been lying to each other about the money. I'm here to make them fess up. Hi. How are you? If you don't mind, I'd like to just drop my bag and have a quick look around. Help yourself. Okay. okay. A quick look around the home usually tells me where the money's going. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, twenty, from one to two to three to four to five, 25 eyeshadows in one box. Girl, how many faces do you have? I gotta have my collection. What does one of these cost? A metal one like that would cost $15 a piece. And how many of these would you estimate you have? Six or seven hundred, maybe. When I wonder where the money is going, now I know. Why didn't you tell me why I'm here? We just have a problem of, I guess, impulse shopping, not thinking consequences, and then having consequences despite us afterwards. I know you want to have a baby. Yes. <laughs> I know you want to spin your catering into a real business. Thank you very much. However, there are some games that you are playing with each other. You're not being honest with each other about what you're spending. You're also under the misconception that Sharon earns more, considerably more. God bless how much more <laughs> she earns, OK? It's negligible. The other thing that's significant is that you have no savings, no. no emergency fund. So somebody has a medical crisis. Show me your tooth. And you don't have the money to pay for mm -hmm. it. While going through Dennis and Sharon's paperwork, I noticed some disturbing transactions. I need to confront these two about the financial secrets they've been keeping from each other. You aren't always honest with Dennis no. about how much you make. No. You hide money from him? Occasionally. But I think the way I justify it is um, I put a little bit aside. No, you don't. I know. That's and I spend lie. it. <laughs> That's just a downright outright lie. I've seen your savings account and yes. there's nothing in it. <laughs> one, of the, one of the things I sometimes I will be short at the beginning of the month, pay yes. for rent, and I will go to a payday loan place and get a, a, a payday loan. When you tell me you go to a pay advance store, That's all I want to do is slap you. 
Sharon and Dennis were using payday loans before their marriage. The fact that Dennis is using them again has come as a complete surprise to Sharon. Will she be able to get past this? You didn't know. I didn't know. How do you feel knowing now? It hurts. Because what, what there, hurts? There's deceit in a relationship, and that is something we have to get over. We have to work on trust. Yes. And we have to work on accountability. The next thing I want to do is I want to show you some of the details that I found. Okay. Combined, you're okay. spending two hundred and eighty-one dollars on bank me, fees, it? almost thirty-four hundred dollars a year. Oh my God! So two funny. months of your income is going to pay your bank fees. <sighs> Miscellaneous consumption, almost eight hundred dollars a month. You're spending the equivalent of ten thousand dollars a year on crap. And look at your cash. <laughs> $2,550 a month. I don't know where that's going. It's just being withdrawn from the bank mm -hmm. and spent. Oh. Wow. Something to think about. <laughs> You're pretending your credit card is a bank account. You took a cash advance on the 12th. You took two on the 13th. On the 14th, every time you took a cash advance, you paid a $4 fee. If you take a cash advance of $20 and you pay a $4 fee, that's 20%. Because Sharon's payments don't even cover her fees and interest, nothing is going towards the principal. That means this debt will never be paid off. You're spending $2,800 a month, more than you make. I, I knew we needed help, but I didn't think we needed that much help. You need that we much need help. That we need, I we do. That's, that, because if you keep on spending, if you keep on spending twenty eight hundred dollars more than you make every month, on top of the debt you've already acquired, which isn't too bad right now, it would be a quarter of a million dollars in debt in five years. Oh, that's incredible. So here's the thing: we can fix this. Yes. You're not in so deep a hole that we can't dig you out. Okay, but I need your commitment. You have to promise me you're going to do you whatever say. I say. Ever you say. You promise. I promise. You have my our word. So moving forward, you're going to openly communicate about your money and your debt. You're going to work hard at building a realistic plan for a catering business. And you're going to develop a realistic plan for that baby that you want. So the very next thing I need you to do is go get me your cards. Oh, if I go must, down. if I must. <laughs> Coming up, can these two overgrown teenagers finally become financial adults? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Sharon and Dennis earn a combined income of $53,000. Like a couple of teenagers, they spend their money on toys and makeup. But now they say they want to start a catering business and have a baby. I'd rather have a baby. <laughs> we have, we have cats. With almost $16,000 of debt standing in their way, if they want to succeed, they're going to have to live by my rules. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I will reward them with thousands of dollars to pay down their debt. No changes, no money. Now that I have your credit card, you're going to learn to live on cash. I am trimming your spending by 77%. 77%. This is your Thanks. variable spending. So this week, you will have $125 for food. Okay. $33.25 for entertainment. Have a party. <laughs> $18.75 for clothing and gifts. $46.25 for transportation and $21.25 for other, that would be things like your cats. Okay. Your variable spending is the only thing you have any control over because your fixed costs are fixed. Because you're working in cash, you have to keep records, which is where the budget binder comes okay. in, okay? Mm -hmm. Any questions? No. no. Well. <laughs> I don't think so, I think it's very Then simple. you come with me because I have a challenge. Me? Oh. Both of you. I'm here to give you your life lesson challenge. You are a dreamer. 
you have the desire to own your own home, you think you'll have a few kids in a few years, you want to have your own catering business, so you make, need to make sure you have all the tools of your trade, price them out, figure out exactly what you will need. I also want you to bake a cake and figure out what the cake costs, including the ingredients, the amortized equipment costs, the labor costs, and a minimum 30% profit margin. I'm going to supply you with an unusual mode of transportation, and you will have to work together to get from one place to another. Okay. Think you can do it? Yeah. I Does it really? Try. And if you're not communicating and you're not working together, you'll go nowhere. <laughs> and sitting on it? <laughs> I think if I learned how to swim, it might be a factor. <laughs> Start pulling towards you, leave your paddle in the water, and just cut the, uh, cut the water like this. I think normally in our financials, it's, uh, I normally have the control, so it was a, this difference in having him have the control and, and teaching me how to do things. Keep us straight, honey, keep us straight. Keep us straight. Honey. I got a great experience from it because Sharon and I were communicating beautifully. Will that beautiful communication continue as they complete the second part of their challenge, pricing equipment for Dennis's catering business? You gotta look at all this stuff here. I have to definitely uh, support him in this challenge and uh, I just hope that we'll be able to go on the right track and don't go over budget. She's very good at file management, so I guess once I've told her everything to write down, she'll write it down. He's not a mathematician, but he's definitely better at math than I am. <laughs> so, did you tip over? No. Nope. <laughs> did you learn anything? Yes, we learned the value of communication. <laughs> it's very important. Good. I'm glad, because that was the whole point. So tell me about your new money management system. Basically, with the budget you gave us, yeah. we are on track, and we actually, last week, we have uh, $85 left. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Living on less and saving yeah. money. <laughs> so do you feel very smart now? Yes. <laughs> and organized? I feel a bit more money conscious now. Good. All right. So that's a score. But we have one more surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if I can stand this. <laughs> That's why you are looking so wickedly uncomfortable today. <laughs> You're scared out of your mind. <laughs> Dennis should be worried. Just last week, I told these two they were not financially ready to have a baby. Now with a bun in the oven, there's even more at stake for Sharon and Dennis. Thank well, you. you people better get your crap together now, okay? Because <laughs> you have a very, very good reason. Coming up, will Dennis get cracking on the cake-making challenge? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Sharon and Dennis are newlyweds with big dreams, starting a business and starting a family. With a surprise baby on the way, congratulations. It's time to get serious about wiping out their $16,000 of debt. If they complete all my challenges, they could earn up to $5,000 to help them pay down their debt. Does Dennis really have what it takes to open a catering business? Dennis's cake will be put to the taste test by a local cake connoisseur. Her pastries are served in restaurants all across the city, and there's no one better qualified to give Dennis a professional opinion. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't want to bring my cake to her and have her go, oh, it's disgusting, oh, I'll never pay for this, but I don't think that'll happen. But I'm a little nervous about that. I'm a little nervous about that. Hi, Dennis, nice to meet you. I'd like you to tell me what you think. So how much would you want to sell this cake for? Oh, I'd probably look at about $25. Very reasonable. Yeah. What about supplying to restaurants, supplying cakes to restaurants? Like very competitive, very difficult to break into right now. Uh, and you can't work out of your home. What about somebody else's home? It doesn't matter. Let's try this. Well, you know, the cake's a little uneven. It's sort of cooked on the outside and sort of not cooked on the inside here. Is this really a sponge cake? The frosting's very nice. And it doesn't quite go with the cake, I think. So there's lots of companies doing wonderful desserts. 
unless you have something really different to offer, I don't, you know, I think you really need to establish something that's going to make them want to buy from you. Like, uh, to me, this is not different. It's not it's different? It's just chocolate cake with buttercream icing. I can't just go to a kitchen and be a chef anymore. I have to go and be a pastry chef somewhere. I have to work under somebody who is a pastry chef. Get that experience. Thank you. OK. Ooh, you bought me a present. <laughs> so bottom line, what did you figure it was going to cost you in terms of capital outlay to get to phase one? About 7000 That doesn't sound like it's unattainable. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty reasonable. How do you feel about this, Miss Vice President of Finance? <laughs> you know what, I, I feel that it's, it's a goal that we can obtain now. Yes. Um, before you see just prices and equipment. Yes. And um, now that we have a list of it, it's, yes. it's easier to, to get a better understanding and feel of what we need. We've taken care of his baby. <laughs> and now we're going to talk about your baby. <laughs> you need some practice as parents. You're going to spend some time with some real children. <laughs> and you're going to have to figure out what your budget's going to be when you go off on mat leave and make your plan for baby's arrival. <laughs> OK? OK. Hmm. I think it's delicious. Oh, OK. I'm yeah. glad to hear you say that. Coming up, can these two financial adolescents cope with the burden of being parents? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. You aren't always honest with Dennis. When I met them, Sharon and Dennis were playing hide and seek with their money. I will go to payday loan place and get a, a, a payday loan. They've got to stop the games to get rid of the $16,000 of debt. And when Sharon goes on maternity leave, their income of $53,000 will be almost halved. My latest challenge is going to open their eyes to the reality of becoming parents. If they succeed at all my challenges, they could earn up to $5,000 to help pay down their debt. How much did it initially cost, or a rough estimate, on getting the nursery ready and, and preparing for preparing for it? Cool. We were really lucky. We actually um, we received a lot of things as gifts. Mm -hmm. And secondhand is always a really good way to go. You can buy really high quality stuff, a little bit higher quality than if you wanted to go cheap or new. Dennis and I were discussing, and it would be best that if I took my leave because I get benefits at my work. Mm -hmm. yep. So that would be the best way to go. Mm -hmm. We made the decision that for me to go back to work afterwards with the cost of daycare being what they are and everything else, I chose to stay home. But it, it, it made things quite tight, but it was a, it was a good choice for it us. It still helped out, yeah. Do you know how to change a diaper? You gotta pay attention here because we're gonna miss some critical details. You can put diapers on backwards and have some very messy consequences afterwards. <laughs> And Is there the labels the that say back and front? Nope. Boy, oh, it makes you get ducked down. Well, you'll end up with wet shirts. You don't call me like mom. Do you feel comfortable feeding a baby dog? I'll, I'll give it a you shot. Follow... Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to nurse him. So, how'd the week go? Wonderfully. Went really well. I think this was actually one of my more favorite challenges. <laughs> what did you like about it? Playing with the babies. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And just, ho just holding them and, and being able to talk to their parents and discuss uh, real issues that they have, like maternity leave. For the whole month, mm -hmm. what would you say would be the biggest lesson you've learned? Communication, I think. Maybe we discussed be honest. It. Exactly. Yeah. As long as it's a little give and take, like it's not always me exactly. saying give me, give me, give me, and her, you know. Exactly. You know, and if you're working together, and you have a common goal, then you're partners. You're real partners. When I got here, you were headed toward $250,000 in debt in just five years. But you're not doing that anymore. No. We set aside $850 a month in your budget for debt repayment. I'm happy to tell you that within a year, two of your three creditors will be paid off. And in another year, even your last student loan will be gone. You will be completely debt free. Okay. We also set aside $200 a month for savings and $100 a month for emergencies. You take that $200 a month and you stick it in a retirement plan, 
reinvest any taxes that you get back, earn just 5%, and in 30 years you'll have $300,000. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Way better than $250,000 in debt. Yeah. You have learned some things this month. You have learned that communication is important, that when you work together you can stay on budget and you can get your debt repaid. You're working together to figure out the dollars and cents of opening your own catering business. And you also learn mm -hmm. that babies cost money. Yes, lots of money. That there are a lot of details that you have to go through. We want to make sure that before baby gets here, that you're in the best possible financial shape. Right. And you're working towards that yeah. right now. But I have something for you. I have for you a check, $5,000. <laughs> and this you can use to help pay down your wow. debt. That'd be great. Okay. Thank so you, you so much. Congratulations. You <laughs> Thank earned you. it. You absolutely earned it. But I have something else for you. Oh, wow. Like it? This is beautiful. Thank Good. you so much. I'm glad you like it. Oh. The biggest surprise is when I looked in our bank account yesterday, and we've got $2,200, where normally it would be at, you know, maybe 100 bucks tops.